Spitze, halt! Die Ortschaft wird von sibirischen Scharfschützen erbittert verteidigt. Ausgeräuchert. Die ersten Gefangenen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Decisive, Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa with me, Lord Cucumber. <clears throat> right. Sorry about that. A little frog in my throat right now. Anyway, we were doing the whole thing with the Hungarians in the south. This is a nice mess as well. I need to take care that they don't move into my area of influence. This is sort of a risk, having the uh, 1st Panzerkuppe headquarters and the 6th Army headquarters there. Um, well, tough, right? Alright, the Hungarians in. So I guess uh, there's a small German group here, by the way. <coughs> the 11th Army under von Schobat. Um, I will be doing smaller parts from now on. I'm looking at... Uh, well, I think I'm going to go for half hour. So I might do one or two theaters per, um, per video. And then maybe also a theater and then the Russian... Um, turn or something because I'm wondering if I'm gonna see that live I don't know yet I have no idea uh, anyway we're gonna punch through here these guys are well protected holy shit I guess that's a thing these guys are not well protected that is very good Dimutresco your task will be to cut around these guys if you can uh, Preferably through these guys, though. That's an opportunity. Um, okay, those are mountain divisions. So I am supposing moving them out somehow. <coughs> Let's see. How will we do this? I'm not quite sure. I guess what we'll do, we'll start with just sending them running, if we can. There we go. And attack. Okay, that didn't end as I expected. Fine. I guess we'll move these mountain units up. And, uh, okay, there's more troops behind the river there. Not exactly what I want but all right no matter are we gonna punch through this or through this I'm guessing with the troops we have we have infantry they have infantry they have a howitzer well that's a pretty large company although these one are 158,000 guys and we have 6,000 to 6,000 so 8,000. So with 14,000 men, we should attack these guys, I think. That's probably our best bet here. We got these mountain men to attack with them. Okay, we ran out of juice again. I'm uh, guessing that the these are mountainous troops. 9,400 of them. Hmm. Again, mountainous troops here. 6,000. These are pretty relatively weak units, I have to say. Did not anticipate that. Alright, well, we'll go with the larger units. I suppose. Attack. 
Yes, they're retreating. Excellent. So we'll use that infantry to move in. Hungarian units now on the move. Uh, okay. Let's have these guys do their thing, I guess. We'll attack this unit now with these two. Attack. We ran out of AP again. Okay, we've weakened those units, but they're not quite giving up. That's a bit of a thing. You can still move, though. Might be wise. This is the first mountain, guys. Yeah, keep them near the headquarters. So far, the results have been meager, I must say. Meager indeed. What's this? Another Soviet tank corps. Not exactly a worrying amount of guys. We have... Whoa, we've got... AT guns, infantry, 10,000 men. We should smack that. No problem. Well, you, you, you're gonna help. If you can. Yes, you can. Go. There we go. They're retreating. As anticipated. Which basically means we can move up with our tank units. We have a nice little gap now that we can exploit. <coughs> From a forest though. I don't know like I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll find out. Alright. That's Luftwaffe Infantry Division. Apparently they already had those. Okay. Let's see if we can attack this one. We'll use the tanks. And this unit. And that's it. That's it. Alright, well that's no no problem. Out of AP. Hmm. All right. Well, it's just—it's gonna happen. That's a fort, fortress division. Romanian infantry. Oh, these are Romanians, right? We already have the Romanians. They're down here. Of course, it's, this is Romania, Bucharest. Should have known that. All right, well, the Romanian guards, divisions, and these are cavalry. You should be able to break them pretty darn easily. Cavalry units are easy to take down. If anything, attack them. They're retreating, perfect. Let's move these guys in. We'll leave guards units behind to recuperate. And then I guess what we'll do is attack this cavalry division. Because why not? You know. Seems like a good idea to me. Go infantry, go! Yes, they are retreating. Excellent. Very well done. Now for this unit. Can we still move? We can. Will it help? Possibly. Okay, we still have the option here to attack those motorized units. I guess what we could do is get the border troops. Tell them to take this position. And the other guys to move up. Like so. There we go. We'll cut them into uh, smaller... Well, smaller units. These guys are relatively okay. Not much of a difference between them. Let's see... What we need to do is reach this headquarters unit, so I guess I'll punch through the line there with these guys. Yeah, why not? 
Why not? I want both of you taking these guys down. Go. I want to see them retreat. I see them run for their very lives. And then they did. Excellent. Now we can start attacking that headquarters unit. Which is perfect. Because we have been ordered to do that by the Fjord himself. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. There we go. Attack. Go. Take him. They retreated. Very well. Let's move them in. <laughs> it's on foot. Right. Too bad we didn't take him down. I hope we would. We need to disrupt them and then take them down. That's our that's our task. That's what we we've been told to do. So I really want to do that. Um, of course, is there any way we can attack this thing? No. Let's see if there is. Do we don't don't have? A, do we? I don't know. Is anyone here capable of still attacking? Nope. You? you? Maybe you. Can you still do something? No, you can't. Okay. That's fine. Um, okay. Let's see. If we move you... Could only make a crunch for the, for the infantry, for that unit there. I don't want to make a crunch for that unit there. That's not what I intended to do. But there's no undo button, as far as I know. Um, okay. Still a bit fiddly with the controls sometimes. You guys can move, though. And then you could attack that stack, but I, I really don't want you to. Can you still? No, you can't. Damn it, I shouldn't have moved it. Oh well. No matter, no matter. There's a small-ish risk. Oh. Oh my, really? These guys are still capable of attacking. Why? That is interesting. All right, let's attack them by all means. Attack. Out of AP, okay, that's acceptable. Anyone here still capable of doing that? Yes, you are. Go, I want to break that motorized unit. Panicked! Awesome. Can we move you? Yes, we can. Cut them off. Anyone still be... No, they can't move. Any units here that can still... Uh, are they? Yeah, they, these guys are the only ones. The Luftwaffe Feld. What, what kind of stuff do they have? Do I know? Do I know? Um, okay, they have um, AT guns, self propelled guns, versus tanks, 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 tanks. That actually might not turn out so bad. We'll do that. See what See what happens, right? Now we're out of AP, but we lost a few guns, and they lost quite a bit. They lost a couple of tanks there. Let's have a look at the details. Kill, T-26, kill. Pinned. Okay. Nope. That didn't do much, but... You know, as long as it's uh, weakening those units, that's cool in my book. Can't actually move you except onto this headquarters, which is probably the best option we have at the moment. Alright, these are two units that have been weakened. Can we still attack them with these guys? No. With these guys? No. With these guys? No. Can we still? No. We can't. Can you move you? We can actually 
Oh my goodness. We can move them and have them attack these um, these units here again. Try and take them down. Yeah, I'm gonna move them over. I'm gonna move them over. We're not gonna commence with the attack, but we are moving them over. Okay, so that is the Hungarians for this turn and the Romanians. And we actually managed to uh, capture one motorized division here and pretty much put their tanks in a pinch. If they can move out, they're they're gonna be, you know, lucky. We are threatening their headquarters. We almost grabbed it, but not quite. And I guess we're gonna see what the Russians are gonna do in the next turn. Do we still have a? Um, do we still have? Probably still have some um, decisions to do. Don't we? Accidentally called in those trucks, but they might actually come in handy now. Uh, let's see. List of messages. Decisions. Expand the Romanian oil fields. That is actually not a bad plan. In the event of a prolonged campaign, it would be wise to ensure a secure, su secure supply of oil. Royal Navy is expected. Yes, I know about all this. So, I'm going to take that decision. We do need oil, otherwise we're going to be very much out of oil. So, we'll do that. It's 8 PP. PP. There we go. And we'll demand maximum output of the Romanians. You're in now, and you're going to be in full. An opportunity has arisen to weaken theater fuel allocations no that's actually fine I'm gonna go with that for now and then we have deed plus two air defensive first from all three lift what the commandants and peers our initial air offensive has been an outstanding success in fact it's hard to believe the extent of victory okay uh, top time I'm avoiding a primitive people we should not expect them to harness the power of flight blah 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 so Goering tells me, well he told me in the earlier uh, bit, that, uh, yeah, that we're going to do fine in the air if we do an air offensive here. I guess we'll make that decision. We do need it. Let's see. Cancel air offensive. Maintain air offensive. For four more days, maintain offensive for eight more days or twelve more days. Red Army will find it difficult to operate, but no ground support available. Oh, well, we do need ground support. So basically, we could take four more days, for instance, of offensive and hope that we take down the Soviet air power. 2,000 enemy planes destroyed, mostly on the ground. I have no idea what their exact air power is. So this is a bit of a tough one. We could go for the mid medium one. Eight more days of operations. And then we'll get ground support. Aircraft. Operation cost breakdown. Alright. Alright, alright. Okay, the Soviet Air Force, the Vyonovozhnye Sily. I have no idea how to say this, but it's probably how you say it. The most powerful and largest air force in the world that started World War II it was equipped with modern air fighters and bombers. Tupolev TB3 appeared in 1930. UVS, however, suffered serious weaknesses. Many planes were obsolete. Okay. Despite giving clear warnings to of Barbarossa, Stalin ordered the deployment of substantial air assets close to the Polish border, putting them within range of the Luftwaffe. No radar. Uh, okay, cool. Don't support Barbarossa. Uh, uh, cool. uh, they took out 40% of their officers, I think. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 40% of the VVS officers had served for six months or less. No, that's, that's the number of officers that were green because he had... Stalin had taken his <coughs> senior officers to um, death or gulag. Okay. Uh, Soviet commander of Russian aviation, General Riga Gov, 
was shot early in the piece of treason activity. As was the VVS ship. Oh, okay. So the leadership is completely gone. Oh, I want to keep the umbrella up. I'm not going to take this decision. Well, I should, I guess. I guess we'll leave it up for the maximum amount of time. No. Medium amount of time. Oh, this is difficult. I guess I'll go for eight more days just for the sake of... Whenever we see another plane. Four more days? I don't know. And we'll, take, uh, we'll take it with four more days. If we've taken down such a large part of their air power... <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm gonna... I want to be safe. There we go. We'll do eight more days of this air offensive. Goering may be sure of his case, but then again, he's completely propagandized or something. Uh, security division. So... Last front, we have good authority. Just when we were in the hotel, Clarish, these excellent wines, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. We can offer a recommendation other than to suggest you keep a sharp eye on him. Is he doing a decent job of mopping up? Should we switch to anti partisan duties? Either way, make sure the man spends his time in the field and not propping up in the nearest bar. Okay, he's reliable. Don't think we need uh, those guys there. It's worth noting that mopping up in operations in forested areas proving to be problematic and may not be worth pursuing further. Okay. I'm gonna go with the armor group north thing because this guy is definitely sitting on his hands right now. So we'll make that decision. Uh, leave mop up detail for another week. Switch over immediately to provide security. And the partisan policies duties must take priority. Perhaps... I shouldn't. I'm not sure. Should I? Hmm. No, I, I'm gonna tell him to get to work or something. Okay, these guys... Hmm. Let's see. We'll leave mop up detail for another month. In this center, because I don't think we, we have that much going for it. Hmm. All right, from Brauchitsch, Karl von Rocks. Cousin of General Franz von Rocks. All right. Me, OKW on the Ost front. I understand that his three divisions are currently mopping up in the suit. Suggest that you go easy on him as the divisional commanders has. Okay. Best to leave him to tidy up. I think I'm gonna leave him to tidy up. For another month. I'm gonna mess with him. I'm gonna mess with the other guy though. <laughs> right, theater allocations is a decision we have to make. Apparently. Um, let's see. I am gonna say this is a good plan. The journeyman approach. I'm gonna say it's a good plan. There we are. God and Himmel, get out of here and stop bothering me with this nonsense. Well, thanks, Marlon. 
not nonsense. It's not nonsense at all. Okay, let's look at the uh, operational map right now. We have interesting pockets of resistance here still, but we're going to crush them in the next round, I suspect. Uh, the same goes up here. We have a couple of units surrounded. Well, at least one. And we have a couple of units cut off here as well. And down here, one unit has been cut off and another is almost cut off. So we're doing really rather well. And, uh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, well, this is doing relatively okay. And we can still play the card. That's true, I forget about these. Blitzkrieg posture. I don't know what kind of posture we have right now. Sustained defensive. Right. The Luftwaffe. Okay, those guards are gonna stay there. Oh yeah, we need to order our uh, siege artillery out. So I think we should send our siege artillery to cover the north. Invest in a location. Okay, let's invest in. Uh, cannot play cards. Hmm. You can invest it in Tilsit. We actually took Tilsit, really? Did we? I don't remember. I guess we will. Siege artillery will be dismantled and prepared for transport at location at Tilsit. It's estimated that the artillery will arrive, bearing, barring delays in four days. Siege artillery security has been removed from the map and will return once the artillery reaches its destination. Great. Super duper. Um, allocate theater artillery. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Allocate artillery. I guess we should. Allocate artillery. Rest and refit. Ah, not yet. We're fine. Okay. Focus staff and command resource to an army. Panzer group. Uh, no. Reassign. Panzer group. Uh, focus. Arm group north. Arm group south. Arm group center. Transport. Organized priority transport for any division that is outside of command range, not cut off, and hasn't moved. It's further away than three hexes from the enemy. Hmm. Alright. I think I'll leave the rest of the guards as is at this point. We want the siege artillery to run up here and invest in Tilsit, where it can help... Um, do stuff, for instance, reach Riga at some point in the future. And I'm gonna turn to the Soviet turn and see what happens. And turn? Yes, sir. Okay. I have no idea. We'll see what the Soviets will do. Miscellaneous calculations. Preparing AI initialization. <laughs> Okay, moving around, moving around, moving around, moving around, falling back looks like, in many cases, and they're attacking my mountain divisions, and that uh, uh, apparently didn't do much. Okay, and then it's our turn, and we'll see what the damage is, and after that I will call it an episode. In the sector Arm Group North, the enemy is falling back behind the Davina River. Strong wedge in enemy elements are causing our infantry divisions a lot of trouble, even far behind the front. That's um, in diary of uh, Mr. Halder. Where a poor relationship with von Leib gives penalties in Arm Group North. A neutral relationship with von Rudstedt gives penalties, apparently. You need to decide who has command focus. Okay, okay. 
Somebody needs command focus. We need to decide that in this turn. I uh, guess I will need to play that card. Um, we need to assign theater artillery supports. People are really not happy with that. The fact that I haven't. Uh, Luftwaffe is busy pressing the Red Army. No air support. Red Army. No air support. Okay, that's fine. Three divisions have been deployed. Two divisions to fail to deploy. And one division pending deployment. Four decisions outstanding requiring your attention. Great. Panzer Group Summary. Zut. Is doing... Okay, 90% operational. Transport, 97% operational. Now the Mitte, I, was, I believe this is where I released the trucks. Uh, yeah, they're fine. We are in relative good shape. This though, might be a problem. Uh, okay, this is all fine. Uh, the fact that we have 90% there is a problem. Alright, so it's time to crush whatever we can in the rear here. But that'll be next time. Let's have a look, a quick look over the um, the whole battlefield here. And it looks like the Russians are trying to flank us here. Or block us off, if you will. Near Vov. No biggie, though. We'll probably um, be able to um, force some surrenders this turn as many of these units are cut off. And they've clearly moved out of Jazzy. Uh, or the uh, Jazzy area. And uh, yeah. There we are. So that's what's happening over there. Haha. <laughs> and we need to play a card or two. In order to get some focus out here. And get our relationship with certain commanders up again. But... I said that'll be next time. Apparently we've got a new division here. That's really nice. I like that. We are heading towards Vilnius. Vilnius, I guess, is one of the key points that we need to take here as it is a railroad ca crossing. And then we can possibly cut off the Baltics. That's what I'm hoping for here. And take Riga in a reasonable, a reasonable amount <coughs> of time. Army Group North, though. I don't know how well they're doing. Lipaya. We need to take Lipaya at some point. Lipaya is undefended? Really? AI, what are you doing? Okay. Let's remember that. Yeah, we definitely released the trucks in the Mitte area. Somewhere. <laughs> ah, well. No problem. Anyway. I want to thank everyone for joining me in this uh, episode yet again. Um... Please leave your likes and or comments below. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also uh, make sure you uh, tip me off with regards to the decisions. Because I have no clue as to what to do in some cases. <laughs> I think we're doing alright. But, um, you know, gotta make sure we do. Anyway, thank you all for joining me and see you next time. Bye.